Welcome to this video about regular expressions. Great to have you on board again. We already built a lot of regular expressions in this mini series. We learned a lot about the different regular expression features. Now I want to have a look at the various groups we can work with in regular expressions. Positive, look aheads and stuff like that. Don't know what it is? This video is for you. So let's dive into groups. And for that on regex101.com on the bottom right, we can go into the group constructs quick sheet or a quick reference sheet here. And there we see the various groups we have. Of course, we have a group with parentheses. We have a b in here and we have this regular expression. We get free hits for a b and we could omit the parentheses. It doesn't do anything here. It gets important, for example, if we add a question mark to make this optional. Now, the question mark is referring to the full group. If we omitted the parentheses, the question mark would just refer to the B. So it would match a, a in this case. As soon as we group A, B and make the combined regex optional, the A is not matched anymore. So this is a basic group. If we just use parentheses like this, though, it's also called a capturing group. Now, oftentimes this does not matter to you, to be honest. But a capturing group simply means the matches found with this regular expression, so with the regular expression enclosed in the parentheses, is kind of stored. And you can refer to it again with a backslash and the numbers, where the number relates to the, well, number of the group. So the first group has the number one, for example. It becomes clearer if I now remove the question mark so that we don't have these annoying uh, things, the, the, the bars in between. Now you see that ABAB is actually matched as one thing. The third AB is not included in the match though. Now if we were to use a plus sign after the parentheses, all of that would be grouped into one match. So backslash one is not equivalent to the plus sign. Instead what it says is, first of all here we match NAB. But then, keep in mind, a regular expression is read from left to right, a valid match is not just having an AB, but then is followed by another AB. So we could replace backslash one with AB. And that's the idea. We have two similar patterns referring to the same match here. We can then use backslash one to simply say, whatever you found here should be used again. And of course, of course we could have something in between like an at sign. Now AB at AB would be matched. Now this is not a way to be lazy and write something one, write some check one and then repeat it. It's not just referring to the exact check here, but also to what it found, which becomes much clearer if we don't use hard coded characters, but a range. Let me include a range in that parentheses capturing group here. In there, let's say, we allow any character, A to Z. Now you see, it's not matching the second AB. It's not matching that whole expression here at the beginning, which it previously matched. If backslash one would simply mean repeat the rule in the first capturing group, we would expect a match though, because the rule, any character, which is lowercase, clearly is satisfied for this part here too. So why is it not working then? Because it's not just copying the pattern, it's having a look at the thing this pattern matched to. And A to C, like this, matches one single character in the range from lowercase a to lowercase z. So A at A would now match this, A B, at a b doesn't, we would have to add a plus after the range to say as many characters as you want. And then here it's not matching bb or something like that or cb to make it clear because it's not copying the rule as I said, it's copying the result, the match. And the match of this is a b because our pattern is a to c in front of a at. So a b is matched. But then we say the full regular expression should only match parts where this is true, but then where the part matched prior to the at sign 
is matched again after the add sign and not by rule but by exact match and the exact match was AB. Therefore we have to have an AB after the add sign to include it in the match. I know this can be confusing but definitely important to keep in mind. These capturing groups capture the thing that was matched not the pattern. So if we refer to them again with backslash one for the first group, backslash two for the second group and so on, then we're actually referring to the exact match and not to the pattern. Thankfully, because it's a bit tricky to understand, you don't need that that often. Still important to understand how it works. Now to save some performance, if you know, I don't care about capturing and therefore storing this result, you can add question mark colon at the beginning of parentheses to say, yeah, everything included in the parentheses should not be stored, should not be captured. So question mark colon here is not parsed at par as part of the regular expression. It just changes the behavior of the group. It's now a non-capturing group, as you can see here. That is why our pattern doesn't work anymore. Now it's just simply matching any character and an add sign after it. And it's not storing that match, which saves some performance. So use that for groups where you know I will never refer back to the match. Another type of group we have is the positive look ahead, which you create by not using question mark colon at the beginning of the parentheses, but question mark equal sign. Now what is the positive look ahead? The positive look ahead could be that you say, I want to treat something as a match if it is followed by something. So now if I remove the add sign here and the add sign down there and add an A in front of it, you see all these A's are matched. The B's are not included in the match because, and that's the important thing about the look ahead, the part you're looking at, so the part in the group is not included in the match. It's just part of the matching algorithm. It's saying the match should be any A, which is followed by the rule defined in this group, where the result of the rule is not included in the match, which is why the B is not part of the match. This can be useful for validating passwords, for example. In a password, you might know that you need one lowercase, one uppercase and a special character. Even though we all know that this doesn't make a password more secure nowadays. But again, let's say this is our password validation. If that is our password validation, then the order of these characters doesn't matter to us. But by default, the order does matter in regular expressions. With look aheads, we can say match anything which is followed by, let's say, a special character which is followed by a lowercase character. And by combining these lookaheads correctly, we can basically create alternatives here where we say we need to have at least one special character and one lowercase character, but the exact position doesn't matter as long as our entire string, this is where we're looking ahead, includes at least one of them anywhere inside of it. We'll have a look at password validation in the next video.